And it is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, March the 20th, 2015, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Friday, spring arrives, and we had spring showers that arrived before spring got here. Fifteen one hundredths of an inch of moisture officially arrived in Milshoe on Thursday night, and the high was 64, and the low was 38 on Thursday, the last full day of winter officially, and on Friday morning, it was 39 degrees at 7 o'clock here in Milshoe. This week, we have received a total of 44 one hundredths of an inch of moisture. And out in Circleback, they have even gotten more than we have here in town, we're glad to report. And also, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, now brings you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire area. And at Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, they think we live in a marvelous community and area. You know, one of the really nice things that goes on here annually in Milshoe is the Relay for Life to raise funds for the American Cancer Society. And Milshoe and Milshoe area people are so very generous for this Relay for Life. And that money is used to help people who are suffering from the disease of cancer with different services, plus education and also research. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Mark Washington and all the personnel salute every one of you who participate in any way in the Bailey County Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society. And now, the forecast. Looking at our weather forecast for the Muleshoe area, the high only near 60 degrees north, northeast wind around 5 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 41. Partly sunny on Saturday, a little bit warmer, high near 65 degrees and calm winds. Mostly cloudy Saturday night, low around 41. Then even warmer on Sunday, high near 76. Sunny day, west winds around 5 miles per hour. Mostly clear Sunday night, low around 42. Monday, sunny and even high, uh, warmer temperatures with a high near 80 degrees. Mostly clear. Monday night, low around 44. And then Tuesday, another fine day. Sunny, high near 82 degrees. Tuesday night, mostly clear, low around 46. A little bit chillier on Wednesday. Mostly sunny, high near 72. Mostly cloudy. Wednesday night, low around 38. And repeating our forecast for this Friday here in the Muleshoe area. Partly sunny, high near 60 degrees. Calm winds, partly cloudy, low around 41. Then tomorrow on Saturday, partly sunny, high near 65. Calm winds becoming south around 5 miles per hour. Saturday afternoon, mostly cloudy. Saturday night, low around 41. Looking at some of the other area weather uh, readings, rainfall totals in the Mesonet uh, stations around our area. San Angelo, south of us, got an inch and 31 hundredths of uh, an inch of rain overnight here in the Mesonet stations. Some of the other readings, Sweetwater got 58 one hundredths of an inch of rain. Amherst, 32 one hundredths of an inch. Olton, 31. Dimmit got 0.28. Friona, 0.21, and the Muleshoe Mesonet site just south of town, about two miles, got 16 one hundredths of an inch of rain. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Brianna Marie Barone was honored last Saturday by her parents, Mr. and Ms. George Barone of Muleshoe, 
with a quinceanera. The service started at the First United Methodist Church of Milshu at three o'clock that afternoon, and then a reception and dinner was served at the Bada County Electric Cooperative Association. On Main Street here in Milshu, at the La Mulita, there was a dance that concluded the celebration for Brianna Barone. She was attended by Carlos Guerrera III as her escort, and the young men and women of her friendship circle who assisted in the festivities were Destiny Flores, and she was escorted by Derek Barone, Jackie Reyes, escorted by Jesse Leal, Casty Cage, whose escort was Travia. Jocelyn Ramirez was escorted by Jacob Barone. Rosie Diaz escort was Ryan Rodriguez. Carlos Misa escorted Alexis Campus. Arnulfo Hernandez escorted Liliana Barrera. Valerie Ambrise was escorted by Joe Zach Reyes. Ricarda Elizalde was escorted by Jose Lopez. Sergio Solano escorted Melody Moran. Noah Rojas was escorted by Javier Gutierrez. Elias Guerrera escorted Jennifer Orozco. Fatima Herrera was escorted by Isaac Mendoza. Giovanni Cia. Seha, pardon me, escorted Carla Bastias. It was a lovely evening to celebrate the 15th birthday of Brianna Barone, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. George Barone of Milshu, and she is, of course, a Milshu High School student. We're glad to report that Janice Morrison, who is the activity director at the Parkview Nursing Care Center, is home after having shoulder surgery on Thursday in Lubbock. Please put Janice Morrison on your prayer list as she recuperates from her shoulder surgery. And also on your prayer list, Francis Miramontes, who will go to University Medical Center on Monday and will have surgery on Tuesday next week. Please remember Francis Maramontes on your prayer list, her husband Philip, and all of their family. Francis Maramontes will be admitted to UMC Monday for surgery on Thursday. Also at UMC, remember the two Milshu men who are patients there who were injured last week on March the 11th in the explosion at the Mensa plant here at the east edge of Milshu, just off of U.S. Highway 84. They are Juan Jaime, who is improving, and Archie Quintanilla. And Archie is in a private room at UMC and doing much better. His family reports to us. Remember both of these men in your prayers. Circle this date, July the 4th, for the Milshu All School Reunion. Send your new addresses now to the Milshu X Students Association, Post Office Box 100, here in Milshu. The zip is 79347. And all former students of the Milshu Schools are invited to come on Thursday, March the 26th, next week at 5 o'clock to the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center to help plan the big reunion. You do not have to be a graduate of Milshu High School, just formally have attended the Milshu Schools to be a part of 
of the Milshu X Students Association. But circle that date now, the 4th of July. It'll start at 9 o'clock that morning with registration. We'll be back with more Mule Train news now that it's spring in just a moment. Chips are mm, delicious. Have you been wasting time looking for a good meal? We'll go to Liao's Mexican Restaurant in Miyoshio at 1010 West American Boulevard and try the Hermes Special. If you are under 12, try the grilled cheese. You know Liao's in Miyoshio is the original Liao's Mexican Restaurant. I highly recommend it. Five generations of our family have eaten at Liao's. What did you say, Isla? Chips are mm, delicious. And Liao's Mexican Restaurant, along with the First Bank, present to you this edition of the Mule Train News. Show your school spirit now with the School Spirit MasterCard debit card from the First Bank, available now for the Mule Shoe Mules, Demet Bobcats, or the Bovina Mustang. Show your team spirit and earn cash for your school every time you swap your card with the First Bank MasterCard Debit Card School Spirit Editions. Contact them today by calling 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South 1st Street here in Muleshoe. The First Bank online, www.fbmuleshoe.com. They're a member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Williams General Store here in Milshu, 1405 West American Boulevard. They are going to close early today on Friday for spring break and be closed on Saturday at Williams General Store here in Milshu. Lornette Mason this month celebrated her 93rd birthday. Of course, Lornette Mason lived in Milshu many years and she now is a resident at the Quail Ridge Nursing Home in Lubbock. We want to say a belated happy birthday, 93 years young, Laurenette Mason. We also saw just recently Pat Nichols and her daughter Kerma McGuire, both former residents of Milshew in Lubbock at Katie Glover's baby shower. Of course, Pat Nichols is Katie's great aunt. And it was good to see Pat Nichols and Kerma McGuire both. We hope that you will enjoy a part of the archives of Channel 6 and Gil Lamb Advertising online as well as on the air here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as Gil Lamb does the touch of the Master's hand. I think you will enjoy hearing that. Now, May the 9th is a very important day for Muleshoe residents and also residents in the Muleshoe School District. Now, in the city of Muleshoe, we will be electing a mayor. And in addition to that, there will be several other items that we will be voting on. All persons vote in the city and the school board election at City Hall from 7 in the morning till 7 at night. We will vote on the legal sale of all alcoholic beverages for off-premises consumption only in the city limits of Muleshoe. And also, there will be two other special elections reauthorizing the street maintenance sales tax and a charter amendment election in the city. Now, to be eligible to vote on May the 9th, of course, you need to be a registered voter. And you can register now to vote if you are not a registered voter. The deadline for registering is April the 9th. And in the city election, you have to live within the city limits of Muleshoe to vote. The candidates for mayor are the incumbent Cliff Black and Irene Mason, the challenger. Now, in the school board election, 
there is District 4 school board representative that will be elected, the incumbent Sergio Leal, and he is opposed by Ashley Turnbow. Now, there will not be an election for the at-large member because only one person file for that, Jared Lee, and in District 1, one person file, and that was Jay Cage, and he will take the place of Thurman Myers now sitting on the Milshew Independent School Board. Now, also, of course, there will be early voting, and that will be at City Hall. And that is located at 215 South 1st Street. It will start on April the 27th and run through May the 7th. And they are open from 8 until 5. There will be a couple of extended hours though. And that will be on April the 28th and May the 5th. If you have any questions about the very important Milshew Independent School Board election or the City of Milshew election. You can talk with the Milshew City Secretary, Leanne Gallman. Of course, there were no contested races in the hospital district. So the hospital district will not have to spend money to have an election in May. The Children's Bible Drill of the First Baptist Church will be held on Sunday evening at 6 in the Fellowship Hall of the First Baptist Church. The Macklin Conception Catholic Church of Milshew at 805 Hickory is serving a Lenten fish fry every Friday night through Lent from 4.30 to 7. Adult plates $8, children 10 and under $5. And if you want your fish plate delivered, call 806-272-4167 between 4.30 and 7 on Friday nights. They are serving fish, baked potatoes or fries, beans, coleslaw, hush puppies, and dessert. And it is very good. In our bargain basement for sale, brand new clothes for a girl size 5 and for ladies size 6 and 8. See at 407 East Ithaca or call 806-272-3975. These are brand new clothes. We'll be back with more Mule Train in a moment. Stay tuned, please. Today is the deadline on Friday for the Name the Robot contest and your chance to win $100 in cash at K&K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard. Their new Prey to Max machine is in their store, and you name it, take one of their entry forms name the robot and put it in their box and you if they draw it you can win a hundred dollars in cash no limit on entries go by 1411 west american boulevard the deadline is today to name the prey to max machine at k and k pharmacy the swing bed program is now available at the muleshoe area medical center 708 south first street for the patient who is no longer in need of acute medical care but is not yet comfortable functioning independently at home. That's a swing bed program available now at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center. Call today for more information at 806-272-4524. The annual Muleshoe High School Student Community Action Club auction will be held here on Channel 6 on Saturday morning, March the 28th. All money that is raised from this auction on Channel 6 will go to the Muleshoe Heritage Foundation. SCAC at Muleshoe High School or Channel 6 does not keep any of the money. The Muleshoe Art Association's annual spring show will be held April the 14th through the 17th at the Muleshoe State Bank and it is open to the public. Exhibits will be in the Muleshoe State Bank meeting room featuring a special category of art 
from Milshu High School art students of Sandy Chitwood this year. Now, this is open to all adult artists and Milshu High School students who are in the art department. And entry should be original in design and execution. Works completed in a workshop or under supervision are both eligible. All works not suitable for viewing by families and children will not be accepted for the art show. The entry fee is $5 for adults for members of the Milshu Art Association and $10 per entry for non-members, $3 per entry for miniatures. Entry fees are not refundable. Membership dues in the Milshu Art Association, $20 per year. They encourage artists to join the Milshu Art Association. The categories that will be judged, oil and acrylics, watercolor, pastel, photography, miniatures, and miscellaneous. All watercolors, pastels, ink, charcoal, pencil, and photography must be matted and framed under glass or plexiglass. Frame size limit on miniatures is 5 by 7. Artwork should be delivered on Monday morning, April the 13th to the Milshu State Bank meeting room at the crossroads between 9 and 2.30. Please deliver your artwork in person or by a representative. You cannot ship your entries in. Artists are welcome to but are not required to put a price on their artwork if they want to sell it. All accepted works will remain on display for the duration of the art show at the Milshu State Bank. All artwork except first and second place pieces need to be picked up before 3 o'clock on Friday, April the 17th. First and second place pieces will be on display in the bank lobby from April the 17th through the 24th. The winners will need to pick those up before 3 o'clock April the 17th. The First United Methodist Church of Muleshoe will deliver a soul stew supper on Saturday evening after 5 o'clock on March the 28th. This is an Easter gift to the residents of Muleshoe who are sick or lonely or shut in, senior citizens, if you or someone you know would appreciate a stew supper, please call us here at Channel 6, 806-272-3990. Give us their name, address, and telephone number. This is a ministry of the First United Methodist Church of Muleshoe Outreach Committee, Donna Green says. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous and the Al-Anon Family Group will meet Friday and Monday nights at the First United Methodist Church here in Milshoe at 7 o'clock for open meeting. However, they have different meeting rooms. Please enter the south door at the First United Methodist Church, Al-Anon, meets in the first room on the right and AA meets in the second room on the left. The Holy Week services sponsored by the Body County Ministerial Alliance will start Sunday night, March the 29th at 6 o'clock with the annual Palm Sunday community-wide service. It will be held this year at the First Baptist Church. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of Holy Week, March 30th, 31st, and the April 1st, there will be a 12 noon meal serve with a short devotion. Mondays will be at First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall. 
Tuesday at First United Methodist Church, and the members of the 16th and Avenue D Church of Christ will provide the meal on April the 1st, but it will be held in the First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall. Then the Easter sunrise service will be in the city park and Sergio Leal will bring the Easter sunrise service message at 730 in the new city park near the 16th and Avenue D Church of Christ. A 5K celebration run and fun walk sponsored by Fight for Bow Relay for Life team of the American Cancer Society will be held in Milshu on Saturday, April the 11th, starting at 9 o'clock at the Milshu Church of Christ. The relay starts and also will end. There will be late registration beginning that morning at 8 o'clock. All proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society. Make your check out to American Cancer Society. Registration is $30 per person through March the 31st, and that will include a t-shirt. Late registrants will not get a t-shirt, but the registration fee is still $30. You can turn in your entry at Williams General Store up through April the 10th. The Milshu High School Project Graduation parents need your help in paying for a location, transportation, food, and prizes for the MHS graduates of 2015 after graduation on May the 29th. Send your contributions now to Project Graduation 2015 in care of Milshu State Bank, Box 1010 here in Milshu. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call 806-272-4561. And this is a all-night drug-free chaperone celebration for MHS graduates. On our prayer list, please remember Marcia Dale Henry Martis. She is improving in the hospital in Wichita, Kansas after her second lung surgery. Marcia Martis is the sister of Nelda Hunt of Muleshoe and the grandmother of Brad and Bo Henry, Donna Green tells us. Please remember Marcia Martis and all of her family in your prayers in improving but still in the hospital in Wichita, Kansas, where she lives. Also, at our last report, Hannah Simmons, a Mary D. Shazo Elementary School student, remains in pediatric ICU in the hospital in Lubbock. Please remember little Hannah Simmons, her parents, Scott and Misty, and her grandparents, Jean and Mike Richardson, all of Milshu and all of her family in your prayers. Also, Marcia Rasko of Milshu, who had an angiogram done earlier this week. Jerry Savuto of McKinney, formerly of Milshu, who is being treated for cancer. Remember her husband, Bill, and their daughter, Corey, and all of Jerry's family in your prayers, please. Phyllis Carry On, Delmer Clements, and he has lymphoma, Larry Thornton, and he is awaiting a heart transplant that will be done in Dallas. Danny Ramirez recuperating from his shoulder surgery. Tom Jinks and his wife Jo, he is home from Covenant Medical Center in Lubbock. They now live in Lubbock, but formerly lived in Milshu. Frida Foss, who fell last week and did not break any bones, but she is in the hospital in Amarillo, and Frida Foss lived here in Milshu for many, many years. Joyce Clements, a new resident at the Parkview Nursing Care Center, according to her 
granddaughter, Crystal Raina, who lives out in the community of Last Buddy. Alma and Burton and Alton, Leona Harris, Noble Killo, Leela Sue and Doyle King, G.R. Lassiter, Augustine Martinez, who has cancer, Clayton Myers, Dellen Riemann, Eugene Redwine, and Walter Marie Boness, both in the Running Water Draw Care Center over in Olton. Everett Reeder, Mary Ellen Robertson, Maxine and Clinton Rogers, R. L. and Doris Scott, Dor- Dorothy and Grady Sarley in Bo- uh, Bovina, and Glenn Watkins in Plainview, Keith Berman, and Vicki Perry in Canton, who has lymphoma, the daughter of Linda Stovall of Milshu. Remember Vicki, her husband Paul, and their family. Johnny Atchison of Farwell and his Johnny Atkinson of Farwell and his wife Diane and their family, the family of Rick Hunter, the son of Joyce Hunter of Millshoe, the family of Wesley Hawkins, 90 of Millshoe, also remains in our prayers. Well, it's just about time for us to go. So get up there, little red. Come on, Corina. Hi, Arbutus, Andalay, Monkey Paul, Julia Gray, Isla, and Olay. Mute. Mute. Liberty clapping over hill and plain. Seems as how they never stop. Liberty clap, liberty clap, liberty, 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 liberty clapping along. There's a plug of char tobacco for a rancher in Corona, a guitar for a cowboy way out in Arizona, a dress of calico for a pretty Navajo. Get along, you. Get along. And this edition of the Mule Train News is brought Mule to you today train. on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by the First Bank along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, a quick course in retailing. In a moment, on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6, as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. It, they are celebrating 75 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area. They hope you enjoy this Sounds of Texas program with Tumbleweed Smith. Betty Thrasher grew up at Rosebud. Her grandfather and father had clothing stores, so it was natural for her to have one, too. She called it the Rosebud, and it became Temple's fashion headquarters. I don't believe in rushing around with the person and following them all over the store. I like for people to have the freedom to look. And I offer my services, and then I would say, now, I'm going to let you look a minute, but I will be back. Because there's things that I want you to see that you won't see unless I point them out. In the meantime, I look at them and I can tell what I should show them. You want to show everybody the best thing you have and you want to let them decide what they want or can afford. Most people don't know what they want. So when they walk in, if they see something, fine. But what if they don't see it? So it's your job to show them what you think is good for them, and then you visit and you talk. Among her customers were some of the most prominent people in the state. I have done Mothers of the Brides and Brides' Trousseaus, and I've sent people to the White House many times. Betty had her store for 30 years and sold it in 2007. She has some fabulous memories. It was a George Bush inauguration, his first one. And this lady came in and she said, I want a red formal for the inauguration. She was a size 4. I had the perfect dress, and of course it was a size 12. And I said, but you know, I have pretty good connections. When are you leaving? She said, tomorrow at 4. Well, I don't know if my connections are that good, but let me give it a try. I picked up the phone, called my manufacturer, and gave him the style, and I said, I need this dress in a size 4, and I need for it to be in my store at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. He said, Betty, I'll send my cutter tonight, and he will put that dress together, and you will have it. 
I had the dress at 3 o'clock the next day. I was just absolutely floored. Betty Thrasher of Temple is now doing fashion shows for stores and organizations. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas. Time now for the market report brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor with Edward Jones, located right here in Muleshoe at Edward Jones, member SIPC. His offices are 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806-272-4102. He can assist you with any of your financial needs, no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Friday, March the 20th, 2015 at 1140 a.m. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member of the New York Stock Exchange Incorporated, bringing you the daily financial market report. U.S. stocks are trading sharply higher as investors weigh a weaker dollar and positive news out of Greece. Earlier in the day, German Chancellor Angela Merkel said that Greece would present a list of reforms over the next several days, renewing hopes that Greece will come to an agreement with its creditors. In corporate news, shares of Nike are trading higher after the company reported earnings above consensus expectations, citing strong North American sales. U.S. bonds are trading higher to start the day. So far this morning in the S&P 500, the best performing sector is energy, while the worst performing sector is health care. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 180 points to 18,139. The S&P 500 index is up 19 to 2,108, and the NASDAQ Composite Index is up 39 to 5,031. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is moderate with 595 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbering decliners by roughly a 5 to 1 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is up $10 to 1,181. The spot price of silver is up 55 cents to 1670, and crude oil prices are up a dollar to 45. In bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.51 percent, and the 10-year Treasury yield is 1.94 percent. In stocks of local interest, Apple is up 18 cents to 127.68. Conoco Phillips is up a dollar 21 to 63.97. Johnson and Johnson is up 43 cents to 102.13. AT&T is up 27 cents to 33.47. Pfizer is up 5 cents to 34.20. Target is up a dollar 15 to 81.75. Excel Energy is up 9 cents to 34.57. Exxon Mobil is up 79 cents to 85.21. Walmart is up a dollar 50 to 83.02. And Procter and Gamble is up 69 cents to 84.07. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member SIPC, serving individual investors with personalized attention and long-term financial advice at 104 West 2nd Street in Milshu. Daily commentary is also located on our website at edwardjones.com.